Well, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Okay, I just figured something out this morning. Me and Matthew, we're like the odd couple. How many of y'all knew the odd couple? I think it was Philip and Alec, Alex. And Matthew assumed that I was talking about him being the neat one. And he assumed I was the slob. That was true. <laughs> I said, hey! What makes you think I'm saying I'm the slob? There you are. Could you imagine that? Saying I'm the slob. Anyways, we have a ton of yards to do today. They ain't even no sense in mentioning any kind of number because we're not going to get them all done. They're all really large. And that's just the way it is. So, what's today's date, Matt? 28th. Today is the 28th of April, and it's what time? 1035. And can you believe it's 73 degrees? I'm so happy. Can't blame me for being late this time. I was ready to go in. And today's Wednesday. Nine. It's 9.30. Took an hour getting everything ready to go. I have work to do. Just saying you can't blame me for being late this time. Well, I ain't blaming nobody. Well, you tend to. We're going to do the best we can. We have, honestly and truthfully, we have um, almost 10 hours of daylight. So we're not going to let it stress us out because I ain't going to work that long anyhow. We're just going to have a nice day and about 6 o'clock we're going to quit. Blockhouse. First yard is that right yard up. we got stuck in. Yard we got stuck in. That's our first yard. What yard is that? We've gotten stuck in. Is it the one with the hill? So, yesterday. I was about blind. I've been about blind for two days. And uh, yesterday I went to the eye doctor and I was grinding a piece of steel without safety glasses on. And they had to take a needle. The eye doctor said, that is really buried in there. I've got to dig it out with a needle. <laughs> I thought, what? Somebody's calling us. So anyhow, my phone dropped. But we're heading out here to this first yard. We'll talk to y'all time time today. Yeah, oh, by the way, I was saying I was blind. But the doctor said he had to dig, or she, had to take a needle and dig that piece of metal out of my eye. But what we want to take away from this scenario, always wear safety glasses. Okay, Matthew mowed it again. Put the 72. No stripe kit. He did a good job. Very good job. Now here comes walking over here.
So your mother called me going about to go into Sam's. And she said, what is the best smoking meat? Now, what do you think is the best smoking meat? Pork, I guess. What kind of the pork? Pugs. Yes. Even you know that? I told your mother, I said, ribs. Man, ribs. <laughs> she said, I wanted to get something to smoke. What do you think is the best meat to smoke? I said, ribs, baby, baby back ribs. Lordy, lordy. Well, we did how many today, Matt? Ten. Matthew said we did ten, which is pretty good because they were pretty good size yards. Well, we did all of Jane's list, which was five. And we've decided when it gets five o'clock, we like to quit. Now, it is six. And so you all know, we ain't been out but what, seven Six and a half hours? Six. No, didn't we leave at 10.30? No, we left at 11. We've only done about six hours, five hours of work, probably. So we did pretty good the amount of time we was out. Got a lot done. Watched a few um, we do go in the videos this morning. Huh? We do go in No, they're not really doing till tomorrow. Anyways, uh, we watched a few videos this morning. I did. And, um... Did we do Bonnie? We did Bonnie. Yeah. So that was that real high yard. Oh, that was... That was Bonnie? I thought that was a different person. Bonnie and Mark. Okay, so we did... Yeah, we did 10. Hey, have y'all heard about Brian Lose? He's got a, a thumbs up challenge. He said, when you watch somebody's video, give them a thumbs up. And so he said, if somebody watched the video 50 times, there ought to be 50, time, 50 thumbs ups. But sometimes I forget to give a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I noticed on his video, I looked at it, and he had 25 thumbs up out of 50 views. So, but I got you this time, Brian. Oh, by the way, yesterday, Matthew and James went to do some mulching. And look what they did to my trailer. It all bounced back, believe it or not. Yeah, some of the welds are broken. So we need to fix that at some point, otherwise the weed eater act gonna fall off. Matthew's gonna read what few comments we got. Scenery. Wait a minute, we gotta roll these windows out. Well, Nobody can hear you. It's too high. Alright, well, read them fast, Matt. Read them fast. Logan Mom says, beautiful scenery. I love the mountain. Maybe I'll get to move there one day. That'd be nice. You can cook me some of that food. Jay's Crazy Cut says, cute dogs. Oh snap, someone has a drone. Good luck with the food trailer and the doctor. Mom says, I love Thank the scenery. You. Your mother? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mariah! Lou Robert says, good video, guys. Matt, nice work with the drone footage. Keep up the great work. Hey, Matthew's getting better with the drone, too, because uh, he took some more today, and so I just know he's going to get better and better all the time. Plus, if you caught that snake, you could have made a nice belt. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, be kind safe out there. I thought there was a black snake, but it looked like it had stripes across his back. God bless. Uh, Japanese knotweed, some call it American bamboo. It's an invasive species and extremely hard to get rid of. You need, an, you need an excavator to remove all of the dirt that's in and all of the roots. 
if just one little piece of root remains, it will regrow. Easiest thing to do is carve it from sunlight. I pulled it up and used the giant pool tarp and covered it with grass clipping leaves. All gone. If I ever need to get rid of some, I'll remember that. Alright, you guys. Have a good night. Now that you do something uh, unusual, tell us a joke. Don't you know any jokes? Your face. So disrespectful. Trying to hurt my feelings. Alright, y'all. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow. If the good Lord's willing and the creeks don't rise. Oh, I wanted to say, too. We haven't gotten a lot of subscribers lately. But I noticed there's three new ones. But I can't find out who they are. But whoever you are, we I want to thank you. Appreciate you. And another thing I wanted to address, I noticed a lot of people that I subscribe to, I go and watch their video, and I've been unsubscribed. Does that happen to you all? I mean, a pile of people I've subscribed to, and I watch pretty regular, I've been unsubscribed. How does that happen? people block you and you lose them or what? Y'all know anything about that? Let me know, okay?